The first space that we're going to look at here in Leicester Museum is the Dinosaur Gallery. But before I go near any dinosaurs, I need to get ready for this Jurassic World. Well, that's better. Right, let's go. This is Nea Venator. Its name means New Hunter. It lived around 125 million years ago. Now, this is a carnivore. That means he only eats meat. So you probably look like a snack to it. In fact, I probably look like a snack to it as well. We better go before he gets hungry. Back in 1851, workmen discovered this dinosaur in Barrow upon Saw in Leicestershire. It became known as the Barrow Kipper, except this kipper is a little bit more dangerous. It belonged to a group of dinosaurs known as the Pleosaurs. Pleosaurs are marine reptiles. Marine means sea, and this would have been swimming around about 120 million years ago in the Jurassic period. Like Neovenator, it's a carnival. Pleosaurs had a broad, flat body with a short tail and four powerful flippers. Its sharp teeth were really good at getting soft-bodied prey like fish, but its long neck and powerful jaw made it an ambush predator, grabbing at things as they swam past. The two dinosaurs that we've seen so far have both been carnivores. So if you were around 700 million years ago, they'd probably try and eat you. But the only dangerous thing about this dinosaur here is if it hit you with its tail, it sat on you or it stood on you. That's because this dinosaur is a herbivore. Any idea what a herbivore is? Well, it only eats plants. That's right. She's a vegetarian. Look how big and strong you can grow to if you eat your fruit and veg. Now this dinosaur was found in Rutland back in 1968, and because of that, it's often known as Rutland. Its real name though is a Ctosaurus. Ctosaurus. Not like the blind dinosaur, do you think he saw us? Yeah? Anyway, because it's Ctosaurus, I'm going to call her CC. Now CC belonged to a group of dinosaurs called sauropods. This is the biggest sauropod ever found in Europe, and it's one of the oldest sauropods ever found in the world. Who knows? Perhaps you might become a dinosaur hunter, called a paleontologist, and you might discover a one that's even older. When CC was alive, she would have been about nine tons. That's a couple of elephants or two double-decker buses to you and me. Adult Cetiosaur could live till they were 200 years old, but CC here wasn't fully grown. Now we said that CC was a herbivore. Well, how do we know that? I'll give you a clue. Take a look at this. This is a fossil. Trust me, if it wasn't, I wouldn't be holding it because it would be very sticky and very smelly. Have you guessed what it is yet? It's dino poo. This is coprolite. That's the posh name for dino poo. Fossilised dinosaur poo doesn't seem that useful, but scientists can look at this in their laboratory and see seeds and other vegetation, which shows that these dinosaurs only ate that type of food. Clever, isn't it? Even though it's millions of years old, we can still discover things about how the dinosaurs lived. Not all creatures back then were as big as CC. Have a look at the ones in this cabinet here. The ones on the top are ammonites. Ammonites would live in the same type of warm shallow seas as the Barrow Kipper. Ammonites had tentacles that came out of their hard coiled shells, a bit like a squid or an octopus. Ammonite shells are made up of a series of chambers, and when they're in the sea, if they want to go up or down, they fill those chambers with either liquid or gas. So if they want to go up, they fill it with gas. If they want to go down, they fill it with liquid. Why don't you have a go with this, actually? You could get a cup and put it in a bowl of water. The more water you add, the heavier it will get and the deeper it will go. Can you see this rock here? Well, it doesn't look that exciting, but this is the oldest object in the museum. This rock was around even before the dinosaurs. This rock is four and a half thousand million years old. This is a meteorite. Now, a meteorite is a piece of rock which has fallen to Earth from outer space. It would have been incredibly hot. You see, to get to Earth, it would have had to have passed through the atmosphere. When any object does this, flames will appear around it. It was Christmas Eve 1965 when a fireball was spotted in the sky over South Leicestershire. It burst through the atmosphere and exploded. Bits started to fall from the sky, showering the village of Barwell. The police were called, and along came a group called the Civil Defence who used their special equipment to see if it was dangerous. 
Did you know that this is actually the largest meteorite recorded in British history? A person who studies the skies at night is called an astronomer. They observe objects such as stars, planets, moons, comets and galaxies. Why don't you see if you can grab a telescope and see what you can see? <laughs>